guys. How are you all today? Um, I wanted to come um, back and touch base with you regarding a couple of things. Um, in a video or two back, we were talking about um, a discussion some of my um, friends and I were having. We, we had come together for prayer that evening, and um, we were all discussing what we were hearing the Lord, um, what we felt like the Lord was telling us. And um, I mentioned in that video that a friend of mine was saying that she felt like... Um, the emotions that I felt when I had that demon face come in my face, all of the anger and the rage and the fury and the wrath and the violence and just the wanting to hurt you, wanting to kill you, just the, the that pure, pure hatred that was emitting off of this demon is what she said she felt like those emotions all rolled up into a ball is what was was coming at us very very quickly and i know that um i had shared some information also um that it was like a raging bull was headed our direction and so i there was one <laughs> and so i just wanted to say um, to you guys, I went online to try and find um, a, a picture, an image, a video. Um, you know, they're pretty good with movies and, you know, all of that stuff now. But I'm telling you guys, I could find nothing. I could find nothing that portrayed even just anywhere close to what I experienced with this demon. I found nothing. And I know um, not too long ago, I shared on Facebook because it was before actually when I started doing my YouTube videos. I shared on Facebook that um, I had a visitation of another uh, demo demonic and uh, demonic presence. Now, I didn't see this. I was at work and I didn't see it. And I didn't even know it had come in. Something in the room had changed in my office. Something had changed. It felt it felt different. But how I knew it was there was I smelled it. It smelled like sulfur. It smelled like um, uh, like when you when when you strike a match. That that smell. That that burning sulfur smell. That's what it smelled like. And I knew because I had. See, God is so good. He He always prepares His children. He always prepares His children. He is a wonderful Father. Not not more than, I don't know, a month or two, maybe, maybe, if that long. I had come across um, some information that... Um, that went through and described what some of the smells represented. Um, and I, I had come across that and was interested in looking into it because about a year and a half to two years ago, um, I awoke in the middle of the night and I smelt cook. I smelt like, um, like warm cookies out of the oven in the middle of the night. I smelt like um, warm sugar cookies, vanilla cookies. Um, like you had just pulled them out of the oven and you you could just smell them. It smelled so good and it was just so yummy smelling. It was just, it was, it smelled divine. <laughs> that's all I can say. And I didn't know what it was because I had woke in the middle of the night and that's, that's what I smelled. And everyone in the house was asleep. We weren't cooking at all. And so, um, you know, I was interested in checking out to see what that was. Um, could that could that be confirmed? I had already kind of found out what it could possibly be, um, but I, I was looking for it. So anyway, while I was looking through that list, the sulfur thing popped out, and I knew um, I had read it. So when I was in my office, I was at work, guys. I was listening on my MP3 player um, because I was just doing some um, menial work. Um, I was listening to praise and worship music and I was, you know, talking to the Lord and, you know, just doing 
whatever I needed to be doing at work. And um, the office, the, 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 um, I'm trying to think of the word, the, something changed in the atmosphere, in the air, in the, in the office. Something changed. And I knew it wasn't, you know, it, it wasn't like noticeable to like it was a 30 degree difference in change. It wasn't like that. But I could tell something was different. And I could, you know, I could sense it. And I didn't know, you know, and I thought, well, maybe I'm just tired, you know, maybe, maybe something's going on. I don't know anything about, you know, you know, and I tend to stay out of the way of any drama in the office. And so um, I thought, well, maybe that's it, you know, and, um, but no, that, that wasn't it. Because all of a sudden I smelled that smell and I knew, I knew, I knew right then, oh, I just read something about it. What was it? Because, you know, I didn't, the list was long. I didn't memorize, I didn't memorize them. So I remembered where I had found it. And I, I just typed in online uh, with my computer at work and I pulled it up and I saw it was, it was demonic presence. And the minute I saw it, it, it was like I had, I, it was, I knew it was over here. I knew it was on this side. And I did not turn my head. I did not look at it. I could feel the fear. I could feel the fear trying to come on me. I could, I could feel it. I had, I had not accepted the fear into my body, into my mind, into my heart, into any of that. I, but I could feel it. And I knew this is where I'm going to say, he was and it was a strong feeling it was a it this was not just a normal um run in the mill i'm gonna bother your day type of um visitation this was a much stronger much bigger entity and so i I knew better to even turn my head and look. I was not going to, I was not going to give, give it that. And I immediately went into prayer. I immediately went into prayer. And I said, um, I, I stood on uh, scriptures of no weapon formed against me will prosper. Um, I stood on the scriptures um, of Psalm 91. I stood on the scriptures of Psalm 23, and I I continued to pray. Now I did. I was not able to pray out loud. I was not where I was and what was going on. I was not able to pray out loud, but I prayed as loud as I could pray right here, and I said to the Lord, Jesus, I need your help. And I prayed and I asked for him to come and help me. And I asked for, uh, oh, I bound, I bound that demon. I bound him in the authority that the Lord Jesus Christ gave me. And in his name, I bound that demon hand and foot. And I loosed the warring angels as large as they needed to be to come down and remove that entity. And then I continued praying and I continued praying and I kept standing on the scripture and I kept saying what was in that scripture. Now I'm going to tell you, I know a lot of scriptures, but when something hits you like that, it's like you can't remember, you can't, you can't remember everything that you need to you need to remember because you're in the moment and you're under the 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 force it was a force it was a force and um so i continued praying and i eventually felt it lift and leave and i was like as soon as i knew it was gone and mind you i was like i felt like i was a horse with those blinders on i did not want <laughs> i did not want to look and guys this just happened this year 
This just happened a couple of months ago, and I... I, I'm sorry that I can't give you the exact date. I, I wished I had thought about pulling that exact date and maybe even reading what I had written down to you. But, um, but guys, when I say there's going to be stuff coming and other people are trying to tell you that, that there's... <laughs> I, I saw it. That there is going to be... Big things coming. You guys have got to understand. Is it is it Revelation 12? Is it Revelation 12 where Satan gets thrown out of, of the heavens? Is it Revelation 12? I think it is. I think it is. And he gets thrown out of the heavens. He's not thrown out of the heavens yet. We don't know. We don't have what we would need to have in order to be able to combat when he's down here. We're dealing with little stuff right now and a possible visitation of something bigger. But guys, I'm here to tell you, when Satan gets thrown out of the heavens and his demons with him, it is going to be like this big ball of all of it being thrown down onto the earth. And those spirits are just going to go, they're just going to spread everywhere. And they're going to try and find hosts. And they're going to try and kill people. And they're going to try and harm people. And they're just, it's just going to be like, like a wave. And when I tell you I can't find anything online that will possibly even just come anywhere near what was being projected off of this demon when I set my eyes on him that night when he was in my face. So when I say that, even if it's just a part of that coming off, people aren't going to be able to handle it. If you're not ready and prepared, I'm I'm telling you, it's going to come. It's going to blindside a lot of people. It's going to blindside a lot of people. Now, guys, I don't know if you're noticing in this video, but the angels are very active, and they are showing themselves a whole lot more in this video with us talking about what the the evil is going to do. But I want you to know something. The Lord is going to equip us. He has his chosen that he is going to equip. He's going to empower and he's going to provide everything that they need to combat to combat Satan and his demons. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to be, it's going to be a bad deal. And I'm not even talking that, you know, what we're going to be combating against. The, the angels are the ones that are doing all the battle, all of the fighting in the battle. I'm talking about just being able to go up against those that may have those spirits within them. To try and harvest in God's people. To try and get others into places of safety. I'm talking about just having enough to be able to do that. Guys, we have no idea what is getting ready to happen. And the, the world has no idea what's getting ready to happen. So I come to you. I come to you and I ask you and I've I've asked and 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 um and been praying that people stop and and take some time and get hold of their of their God and get their life straight because guys the Holy Spirit is the only it's the only thing that will keep some of these things away from you the the blood covering of the Lord Jesus Christ, 
does a lot of things. But I'm telling you, the, the power is the Holy Spirit. And that is going to be what repels and keeps a lot of these demonic entities away from you. You need to be filled with the Holy Spirit. You, you've got to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, let's look at it this way. Let's look at it as, and this might run, this video might run over 18, 18 minutes, but I'll try and keep it as short as I possibly can. Let's look at it this way. Let's look at the, te the, te the temple. Let's look at how the, the tabernacle and the temple was set up. You have the outer court, you have the inner court, and then you have the Holy of Holies. You have the outer court where you know most of the people are you have the inner court where you're cleansed to get in and there's um and then there's the 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 thick veil that separates you from the holy of holies and in the holy of holies only certain people are allowed to go in because that's where the presence of god is that's where he was housed in the holy of holies and so when you have when you have this you have people that are out in the outer court and they they're there to atone for their sin so they believe what's going on they believe in the Lord Jesus Christ let's just say okay so they believe that sin needs to be atoned for so therefore in new testament time we believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and we've accepted him into our heart and we have accepted what he did for us and understand that his death and his blood covers our sin and it atones for our sin. So let's move into the inner court. We, ha we now have the inner court. We are now cleansed. We are now being filled with the Holy Spirit. It's not the same amount of people that were in the outer court. Because a lot of the people that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ have not walked their path enough to get to a place where the Holy Spirit can come and, and live with them. You have to be, you have to offer a, a clean place for the Holy Spirit to be. So in order to get from that place to where the Holy Spirit can be housed within us, that's, that's a walk of maturity and that's opening your heart and that's repenting. But even so, to get from the inner court to the Holy of Holies where God is, that's what we're trying to do. That's where we're trying to go. To get, when Jesus died on that cross that veil was ripped because it now opened the relationship that we can have with father yahweh we can now have a relationship with the god with god the creator of everything you see in this earth that is now so we can get in close close enough to have a relationship with him He's opened and ripped that veil. But guys, we you can't get any closer to Father God with sin in your body. You cannot. You cannot. You can't come anywhere near where his presence is or you just you're just going to die like that if you have sin in you. The priest that went in to the, um, into the Holy of Holies to tend to what was in there and keep things going in there. They had a rope tied around their leg. Because if they had sin in their heart or in their life, and they were behind the thick veil, who would have known? Yeah, they would have had to pull them out if they had died. When Elijah was moving, uh, not Elijah, when King David was moving the, um, the Ark of the Covenant and they were moving it and all of a sudden it, it started to wobble and some, one of the people that were there helping him to, King, King David put, put his arm out to steady it and died instantly.
To get where we're going from where we are right now, we received the Holy Spirit coming upon our lives. It, it was it was the story of Pentecost. It was the story of where um, you know the disciples and the rest of the followers of the Lord Jesus Christ at that time. It wasn't just the disciples were all up in the upper room. And the wind came and filled them full of the Holy Spirit, filled them full of the power of God. But that's that's not all the power there is. We're trying to get our power back that we lost in the Garden of Eden. So there's another step. And it requires cleansing. And it requires repenting. And it requires offering of praises and prayers. And it requires seeking Him. And it requires certain things coming out of your life. It requires sanctification, holiness, purity, pure of heart. That's the only way you're going to see God. The pure of heart. And even then, if you don't smell right to him, you're not getting in. That's where we're going. That's the next baptism. Baptism of water in the outer court. Baptism of Holy Spirit in the inner court. Baptism of fire. To get into the Holy of Holies. We're burning the chaff. We're refining the gold. That's where we're going. Things are going to be different. Things are going to be much more powerful. The Lord is going to provide what we need. As a matter of fact, just recently he gave a message. Let me see if I can find that. Just recently he gave a message. Let me see what the date of this is. November the 28th, 2016. And um, I'll, I'll post this message in the comments. I'm having some problems posting some of this stuff here on the computer, but... Um, I'll post this in as one of the comments so you can read the message, but I'm just going to read a small part of it. He said on November the 28th, 2016, he said, You are one that I will entrust with the kingdom of heaven and its powers to come. Do you understand this, my love? It is no small thing. You are well equipped, well able to handle the power and strength of that will be given unto you. So guys, if you have positioned yourself, if you have gotten yourself ready, brides-to-be, spotless gown, you know, if you have come through and gotten your walk to the level it needs to be, gotten your heart where it needs to be, emptied your vessel and cleansed it to be able to house and welcome in Father God, Lord Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, then you have positioned yourself in such a way that when this next thing occurs, you may be one that's going to be called to carry the powers of the kingdom, the powers of the, of the age to come. So I think for the next couple of videos, the Lord led me to um, start learning about what the powers, kingdom powers are, what, what they are. And when I was doing a study um, 
in Elijah back in July of this year, which is another video I would love to share here. Um, when I was doing that back in July, I tripped across what um, a couple of these um, powers are. And so, um, and so we'll start with those, I believe. I'm, I'm still learning what they are myself. So when I come online, I basically will be sharing my research and study um, that I've been doing. So, um, so I just, I, you know, if that's something you'll be interested in, I, I hope you will. Um, you know, just then, just keep keep an eye out for the next couple of videos that'll be coming out. So, guys, I just I just want to I just want to I want to make sure that our eyes are opened, and I want to make sure that if there's any possible way we can prepare to be ready for what is coming that we prepare to be ready for what is coming. You know, the Lord is going to provide a lot of stuff for us, a lot of protection, a lot of different things. But we have to do our part as well. We have to prepare ourselves as much as we can as well. And he'll meet us with the rest. But we have to do what we can do. We have to do our part. So guys, you know, know that yes, bad things are coming, but oh, glorious things are coming too. And so we want to have our eyes open and know and understand that all of heaven and the angels and the powers and everything that is going to that is going to come for our benefit. The, the Lord is going to, I've said it before, probably to some people I even, uh, I know personally, he is going to pull out all the stops. He is going to provide everything. We, we can't even imagine everything that he's going to provide. We can't, we can't. And, and there's some things I'm sure he's not told even a whispered a word to anyone simply because, you know, things need to stay secret. We're in battle. We're in battle. So, you know, until the time that it needs to come out and be be made aware, it is hidden, just like things that are in Daniel. So, but this is the time that revelation is coming out and um, and new things are are abounding and we're learning we're learning new things at an extremely high rate of speed. So, um, so guys, I just I want you to, Oh, and that reminds me of something. There was something that I woke up one night in the middle of the night. I woke up and this is what I was saying. I was saying, I can't believe that they're that they're nine feet. And I heard someone say, well, they have to be nine feet because the other ones are nine feet. And when I had woken up, I, I, I cannot recall visually what my dream was it was taken from me but i know that there was training i know i was being explained something but i also know that what they were talking about what we were talking about was good against evil so was it angels was it something else i don't know but i know when when the angel said, and it was a female, I believe, um, well, these have to be nine feet because these are nine feet. So um, that's all I can tell you of that. You know, sometimes I just get little snippet things in the middle of the night, and um, and it is something that, um, you know, it, it links into other things of other people. So, but anyway, okay, guys, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. I'm sorry it, it ran, it ran longer than, than 18 minutes, but you know, we, we're getting into some pretty interesting information and I just want to make sure that we're covering it. So, um, I don't know when the next video will be. I'll try to, um, I'll try to get it here forthcoming pretty quickly, but guys, you know, listen, 
be ready. Be ready. Take some time. Find out who find out who your God is. Find out who the Lord Jesus Christ is. Invite them in. Clear clear everything out. Lay it down and invite them in. Specifically, make sure that you're inviting the Holy Spirit in. Make sure that you are covered under his wing because guys, it's it's going to get really really bumpy. It's going to get bumpy. And um and uh, new believers and everyone else too, but I, I keep saying new believers because um, I, you know, most others of us are already doing this. But please pray, Ephesians, please for your armor. Keep your armor on. Know those scriptures inside and out, and keep your armor on. Pray, pray before you even get up every day, because things are truly um, starting to ramp up. Um, I love you all in Christ. I pray that you're doing all right. I will be um, doing some um, prayer. Um, I understand a lot of people have been hurting, and I understand a lot of people have been having trouble sleeping as well. And um, I, I just want you to know, you know, when Jesus said it, it is done on the cross, it, it, it was done, and that includes our healing. And um, I myself, I'm even still learning. How do I walk in that healing, Jesus? Teach me, teach me how to walk in that healing because it is done. I accept it, I receive it, and um, I, I just, I just got to know how to walk in it. And um, so anyway, um, I'll keep everyone in prayer, and um, I just want to say, God bless you, and um, stay safe, stay protected. I love you all. Bye.